first thing that we have to clear is how many nicknames do you have how many oh god so many so so there was this funny story where just before the interview like this how you're sitting there just how do you pronounce your name i said jemima rodrigues 10 seconds got over he started so ladies and gentlemen we have jemima rodrigues because i'm like i'm so bored of it dono change ho gaya when i was growing up in bandup my one friend was there she called me dhamima what Exactly. What? So yesterday there was one one small boy in our yeah. church. He like, "Hi, Gemima." <laughs> How did he get to Gemima? <laughs> no, I think he cannot pronounce J, so oh. he made it G- Gemima. So yeah, my cousins were making fun. So, yeah. <laughs> so Gemima. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're cracking uh, dad jokes, you know. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you, you think about yeah. it, your dad and me probably be batchmates. Yeah. Right. <laughs> But we have decided that neither of us are going to age shame each other. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right? Done. Yeah. I've come to breakfast with champions. It's my honor, so I'll respect. So I'm not going to call you kid, and you're not going to call me uncle. <laughs> right? Bomb. That's our pact. Deal. Just decide. We are family. Look, I don't want to talk. How you try and press the kid and really you was soft. Oh, you know what's capping, homie? You don't know the law. Pedal to the metal, you ain't catching me in park. Uh, I just hit the stop. Uh, I don't want to speak. Talking all that good, so I just hit you with the please. Running up the Score like Tyreek, I'm going deep. Watch me how I'm saucing, I'll be spreading it with ease. You gonna Child prodigy and all-round rock star. She's been many things and also been known by many names. A gem called Jemmy on Shkoda Presents Breakfast with Champions. No, it ain't. You got to take the time for seasoning to marinate. When people call me Jemima, I'm like, hey, who is it? I don't know where it is. Smriti, so Smriti, when she's angry with me, she's like, Jemima. That is when, okay, that is the only time, you know, okay, I've messed up, but yeah. Does uh, Smriti ever scold you? I feel like she's got this big sister vibe in you. She does, she does. Sometimes, mommy also comes to me. I call her mommy sometimes. <laughs> She just broke her screen right now. <laughs> I hope she's not watching this. No, no, I actually call her mummy. Sometimes I think my mom might. <laughs> Smithy doesn't scold, so Smithy will give you the silent treatment, which is worse. Oh. That is worse. So once I, I messed up, like I did something she told me not to do, and it was wrong on my part. I upset. She didn't even look at me the entire day, and I, I was on purpose going there during practice and batting up Uchliya. Yeah. <laughs> batting up, she told me, okay, do this, do this. After that, she didn't look at me the entire day. Okay, then something she wanted, which was in my room, I think coffee powder or something. She called, "Hello, is there coffee powder?" Like full, ah. Huh? I said, "Like, yeah, should you want me to come and give it to you?" Like, no, I'm coming. <laughs> she came. She opened the door, took the coffee. Again, didn't look at me. I was there. I was waiting. She took it and she went. So that is Shruti. She's angry and she's really pissed off. She's pissed off at you. No words. No words. Nothing. Not. No, but then in the in the night, she came and she, like in a good way, uh, explained. She'll never shout. She has a tone, but she'll never shout. She explained to me from you being the person you are. That's not expected, kind of a thing. Then I answered, "Yeah, I'll never ever mess up. I'm sorry." <laughs> Jeez, man. Yeah. She come. Okay, ho gaya session. No more my one lakh. Where is it? <laughs> Abhi ho gaya. What time? So there you go. Coaching fee. Yeah, na see, na amne aari. I'm sister. Sister se paise kono lete. Na sahi baat hai. Like marry itiyo? Kyu ni? Choti bhi se kono lete. Dekho na. God, underneath that angelic face. <laughs> She's not an angel. She's worse than me. Now she's throwing things at both of us. It's <laughs> <laughs> like when a secret out girl. Call आने वाला है आपको. अभी आएगा अभी. Oh no, आ गया. <laughs> so when your name came up in the auction, जब आया, अंदर क्या चल रहा? I'll take a little back. Before this, I was not scoring much. I think highest was some 16 or 26 <laughs> in 15 innings. Then comes the India-Pakistan game. Richa and I, we finished off the game. I got some 50 odd runs, and we won against Pakistan. The very next day was the auction. Are it timing? Timing, you don't see now. All the 15 innings, nothing. <laughs> That happened, and then the auction happened. But देखो दो चीज़ें एक तो ये दिनिंग में गेम फॉर द कंट्री और अभी क्या है इंडिया पाकिस्तान के जब मैच होता है पाकिस्तान के मैच में कुछ अच्छा करो तो उसके पहले ना सौ खून माफ सही में मतलब कोई बात नहीं जोड़ो कोई बात नहीं and that too that game Smriti was not playing because she had fractured her finger nobody knew that wow the entire, so, yeah wow Neil, this is a nice thing about her. Do you want me to cut it? <laughs> we'll cut it. No, no. Yeah, come. Thoda tarif karna padega. She's a very nice sister to me. I love her. Smithy is my sahedi. <laughs> Show her this part. Usi ko dikhana padega. Baaki koi to believe nahi karega. No, no. But I think the bond we share is only like that. That's our love. Yeah. So yeah. So, so this yeah. has happened. And next day is the auction. So yeah. Next day is the auction. And my name came. Okay. First fifteen seconds, full silence. And you know those 15 seconds feel like forever. 
ले रहे कि नहीं मुझे ये क्या हो रहा है मैंने ज्यादा प्राइस डाल दिया क्या कोई तो करो कोई तो देन सडनली स्टार्टेड एंड देन वेंट टू अ बिड एंड देन आई गॉट अ रियली गुड प्राइस एंड आई थिंक मोर देन दैट फॉर माय मम माय डैड एंड एवरीथिंग दे वेंट थ्रू एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट डिड यू हैव डिड यू बाय देम अ नाइस प्रेजेंट हैव यू गॉट देम समथिंग बैड चाइल्ड आई एम द बिगेस्ट आई जे प्लीज <laughs> yeah. That was one of my most memorable moments, I would say. Yeah. And so not just for Smriti, or not just for Harman, just for every single player over there. Yeah. You know, it was genuine happiness. Wow. For your teammate, mm. that you know, we are a part of this team, yes. and playing this WPL was crazy. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be at this level. Yeah. Like we were just happy. to just be a part of it ke ho raha hai ke yeah, finally shuru ho gaya yeah. we would even play for free hey, 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 kato 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 <laughs> <laughs> ye wala kato <laughs> no, but seriously we, we had come to a point because we knew this was what was needed for women's cricket yeah. especially in india even harry di i think uh, when the opening happened uh, when they were on stage i think smriti and harry di gave each other a hug no oh. like this is what we've been dreaming for this is what we have been pushing and it's happening wow. and we are a part of it yeah so this meant a lot to us and the kind of crowd we got at the dy party at the cci and uh, one more interesting story so one day i was taking one overseas player tara norris to have ice cream and they chal khilate is ice cream so i went to hoodie and all that standing in the line okay so then one guy is like hey hey suna kya tune wpl shuru ho rahe so my ears became like that i was like, he had no clue that yeah. i am standing there wow. okay in the line he's like right here so i wanted to hear what is he saying he right क्या सॉलिड खेलते हैं यार ये लड़की लोग इसे इसके थे ना कि शक्ल पे तो कोई भी झूठ बोल देता है पीठ पीछे तो सच बोल रहे in the indian team and whichever team i've been a part of i've always been the youngest yeah. like growing up and all and in the indian team i was called like the baby of the team you know yeah. like okay what what is going to happen <laughs> now it's, it's a funny transition <laughs> yeah. you know, i never thought you'd come there yeah. but when you joined there were so many like there were some real solid seniors yeah. there yeah. yeah i mean let's just talk for a second about julan and mitali yeah. just the two of them and julan you're quite close yeah. to yeah. right yeah. i'm not physically because Haha, you got jokes. Just, come on, she's taller. Yeah, I always looked up to her. There you go. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody has. has. <laughs> right? Juludi is that one senior who like who like every junior likes. Yeah. Kind of thing. What is this magic? ये क्या है Juludi के बारे में? I don't know. I think she just makes us feel very comfortable, and she loves having fun. Yeah. You put music, she'll end up be dancing in one corner. Then we have to call her. She's a little shy. Then we just come up, and then she start dancing with us. Not, not a bad dancer. The better than Smriti. Oh, <laughs> oh. I like. I love the fact that कहीं से भी कोई भी बात चल रहा हो, बीच में एक टच की Smriti को मारना चाहिए. कहीं ना कहीं से. I'm so glad. I think you will not do another episode with her. That I am screwed over there. कर सकते हैं इसी के बाद. शुरू करते ना ping pong. Please. He'll call her. You're the coolest uncle I've ever met. छप्पलोली <laughs> I used to play outside my house in a small gully. Yeah. So then when I used to play over there, they have to cross through that street. It was like for this thing. So we had to stop. It was very annoying. And then they'll stand. They'll not even pass. They'll stand. Ten seconds they'll take. They're like, "Ki ladka hai, ki ladki hai." But I boycotted that time. I'm like, "Chalo, na, please, na, na." What goes your father? Nigga, I say. 
So yeah, it was like that. And my first bowling action was. That. <laughs> no, no, no. So I have progressed at my bowling from there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, safe yeah. to say. <laughs> my God. So you were twelve when you played under nineteen or yes. thirteen? Twelve. Twelve and a half. Twelve. Pe kaun khelta under nineteen? Yeah. Weren't they double your height at the time? They they were they were so like twelve. I played uh, Mumbai under nineteen. When I was fourteen, I played senior. So senior in <coughs> domestic cricket, there's like no age limit. So I'm literally opening with someone who's like double my age. The <laughs> only other person I remember who has done this in senior would be Sachin. Hmm. When he was playing in Pakistan yeah. in his debut tour, yeah. there were all sub double age. Correct. He has batted that time with Siddhu, I guess Sri Kant. Everyone Correct. was double his Correct. age at that time. Correct. So when he won the 2011 World Cup, just happened. No? When he won that, just. <laughs> I mean, the date just went by. You were <laughs> 11. I when, was 11. <laughs> yeah, just to so give perspective <laughs> to people. You were 11 when India won the World yeah, Cup. Yeah, I was. So, <laughs> so I stayed in Bandra. Just behind my house was his house. Okay. So from my balcony, literally I could see his Audi come there. No. And yeah, and the streets were packed. Like packed means you couldn't even walk. Forget about rooming your car out of the building. No yeah. chance. So everyone was crowding up and this and that. And I don't know how they got to know when he's coming. From morning they they were standing there. Evening may he came. My dad literally went from the terrace to see everything. I from my uh, window, balcony window, I saw him like come out, and I, I could just see his his head from the behind. That's all. So that was the, like my first memory of actually seeing Sachin sir in person. And when I debuted, like when my call, like they called me, like you selected for India. Suddenly my coach says, you know what? We are going. I'm like, where? Like, Sachin sir has called you. I'm like what? No, you're kidding me, right? Wow. Like no, he's called you. So he told my dad. Okay, fine. Let's go. Firstly, I'm getting to meet Sachin sir. That to who on this entire earth gets to go to his house, but also that speaks about him yeah. as a person. He didn't even know me then. The first question he asked me was, uh, "Are you nervous?" And I was 17 at that time, going yeah. to make my debut in South Africa. I'm like, yes, sir. I'm, yeah, I'm kind of nervous. He's like, "You're nervous is because you care." And I can't tell you, he was the one who actually, you know, calmed those nerves. And coming from his mouth saying that you care. that just put me so much ease you know? what what i love about him that even now after having conquered everything in yeah. cricket he still comes across as a student of the game true i'll tell you an interesting thing i was talking to him about t20 cricket okay i asked sir like t20 cricket is you know what he told me imagine huh? if i would be sachin sir i would give a completely different answer but he's like you know i've just i'm not played a lot of t20 cricket i don't think i am the right person to answer your question Stop. and i was like If I was such as I would give so much gyan, you know, like to ye kar, wo kar, dot ball, nahi, aise aise, wo over cover, aise mar. But he, and I don't know. I mean, that just got me thinking, like, like yeah. how, how so can humble. he be? How can he be this person? Who is like your your safe space? Like in a time when you're feeling a little down, yeah. somebody you want to talk to, somebody you know will be the keeper of your secrets. Who is that safe space human being for you? So I have like two, three people. Depends on what I'm feeling when I'm going. <coughs> One is my mom. She does give good advice too. Uh, then I, in my teammates, I have Smriti and Arundhati. They are yeah. the two people like I know that I can any time of the day or night go to them, just talk it out, just speak and things like that. For the longest period of time, I was benched. And obviously, when you're benched, it's a little difficult, you know, to come back and you want to you want to prove a lot. Yeah. You know, you want to prove that okay, I am this, and this is how I deserve to be in, in a part of this team and things yeah. like that. Smriti said, she said, tomorrow I go and score a century. It will be fine. It will be okay. But from here, this place, you go out there and score a century. It's going to inspire so many people and give them hope. Bounce back, yeah. Yeah. So many things. So like, yeah. And then when she told her that, that stuck in my head. During that time, I had uh, the opportunity to speak to even Rohit Sharma and such and so. Okay. When you can relate to someone, especially when they are legends, yeah. It just makes you feel okay. Fine. Yeah. It's not the end of the world for me. It's not that I am the only one going through something. So Sachin saw one of the main things he told me. We we spoke a lot. We spoke for hours. But one of the main things he told me, see, whatever it is, come on the ground and remove that frustration. Like whatever it is, whether batting for hours or I should just take my friend and run, run, run at five o'clock in the morning and things like that. Next, Rohit Sharma was also dropped for the 2011 World Cup, and I asked him the question. You know, ten years down the line, you're leading India. Did you ever at that moment think that this would ever happen? He's like, no. And a lot of people came up to me at that time and said a lot of things, you know, but nobody knew what I was going through. Mm. And uh, there was only one person, that's Yuvraj Singh, who came up to him, took him out for dinner, yeah, and things like that. There was nobody else, and only he knew what he was going through. He said he was depressed for a month. 
Mm. Because obviously the World Cup is something you dream about. Playing for India is something you love. Yeah. Both are not happening. So when he said that, like I was crying inside. Yeah. I was like, Jemmy, don't cry, Jemmy, <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> but like I was literally in in tears. And he said, see, tough times will happen, but you know it's what you do next. And make sure when you get the next opportunity, you're ready for it. If it happens, doesn't happen, it's fine. fine. Yeah. And that stuck with me. I don't have to prove to anyone anything. I just want to play for the pure joy of the game. Yeah. So then after that, immediately, like a blessing in disguise, came the hundred. I was playing for the Northern Super Chargers. The first game. I I woke up in the middle of the night. I remember. I got a I got a dream. I said night by kind of thing. I was dropped from the team, and I just woke up in that fear and anxiety. Like okay, it's not happened yet. Right? Okay, this and that, and the match is there the next day. So next day, even in the morning, I couldn't eat. I was so nervous and anxious. No scores at all. Very low on confidence and things like that. So I just stuffed in some cereal in my mouth. The entire day I just ate cereal. Match was at three or four in the evening. We went to play in a hundred ball game. They scored one thirty. We are chasing. Suddenly it came to sixteen for four. Mm. I'm still there at one end. I just play like four balls or something like that. This tournament I decided. See, anyway I'm at rock bottom. Nobody expects anything from you, Jem. Yeah. Just go out there, enjoy your game. Pull back. I pulled back. I'm just going to go and let enjoy. And that game, uh, from there, we went on to win that game with 15 balls to spare, and I scored some 92 not out in 40, 42, 43 <coughs> balls. I couldn't believe that I actually <laughs> scored. You know, uh, my dad also called me. I spoke to him. He's like, "How are you feeling?" I'm like, "Not feeling anything." Yeah, numb. Numb. I was literally numb. I like, I I can't even believe this has happened. But when I was giving the post match, I got the player of the match, and I. My eyes uh, teared up a bit because oh, wow. it meant a lot. I don't think anybody accounts for the toll it can take in your mental health when a downturn happens. True. And I think that your generation—this is not age shaming; it's a good thing. <laughs> I think your generation, a lot more than my generation or bef- generations before me, are very open in talking about mental health. Correct. हमारे टाइम में होता था क्या है तुम ऐसा क्या हो गया उठो चलो हाँ कुछ नहीं होता चलो स्ट्रॉन्ग बनने का ऐसा नहीं होता इन रियल लाइफ राइट डू यू फर्स्ट गोइंग थ्रू दैट डू यू नाउ अप्रिशिएट दैट पीरियड दैट केम इन योर लाइफ इवन दो इट वाज अ डाउन डू यू अप्रिशिएट व्हाट इट टॉट यू और वॉट इट डिड फॉर यू आई डिड सो फॉर मी इट स्टार्टेड वे बैक वेर लाइक आई सेड आई एम वेरी क्लोज टू माई फैमिली एंड आई हैड माई कजन हुज माई बेस्ट फ्रेंड and that time i was i think 6 and a half yeah and she was 4 4 and a half 5 and we'd gone to a, a, a pool like just as yeah. a family vacation and yeah. the parents were up there were two people who were watching us because obviously we were kids over there at that time yeah. something happened one of her, our sisters she wanted to go to the washroom one took them and the other one turned around and that was just after lunch there was no lifeguards around so we all were in the baby pool suddenly my cousin from up like jammy ma jammy ma like what happened Like Kaz, yeah, she's drowning. My my cousin. So I'm like, oh shit! Now what to do? My brothers were in the deep side, so I held the pole. I jumped. I held the pole, but she was like too far for me to get. Oh, then I called my brothers. By the time my brothers came, it was too late. And like my cousin was literally. I I saw it. I saw it like with my shit. own eyes. I saw her like that. And so then they did that. I don't know what's that called. CPR. CPR. Yeah. yeah. And she puked everything because she had just had lunch. And they took her to the hospital. The first hospital didn't have something. I don't remember what. They had to go to the other hospital. But by the time it was too late, mm-hmm. and I lost my my closest person to me, like so, at so a very sorry. young age. Yeah, um, that's okay. But um, yeah, that changed me a lot. Mm-hmm. Like I got so insecure after that. I was so fearful, and I couldn't. I remember I didn't want to leave my mom at all. Yeah. I, I I couldn't sit in school. Like you know. Uh, I couldn't sit in a classroom full of like 30 people. I needed my mom. I used to make a big scene. I used to start crying and reacting. Yeah. And it was very embarrassing for me. Also. But I was going through something. I didn't know what it was. Yeah. You know how much ever I tried, I couldn't like get over it because someone very close to me. And I'm, I get very attached to people. So it all started like that, you know. And uh, and it took a while. It took a while. Like even till third standard, I I was so scared. Sometimes I just start crying in class yeah. like that because I couldn't sit That's with people. That's a lot of trauma around. to go through yeah. as a child. Yeah. And For me, if it was not for Jesus and knowing mm. Him at that time, mm. I don't think I could have gotten out of that. Yeah. And it was just, just this my favorite verse in the Bible that says, "Perfect love casts out all fear." Getting to know more of that love, I know it sounds a little logical, mm. but that actually yeah. 
It's your faith. It's my faith, yeah. And just that conviction and getting to know his love that cast it out like fear. Like yeah. even till today, I'm I'm still nervous. I'm still anxious. But uh, yeah, if it was not for Jesus, I wouldn't. You be accept where I am. them more now. Yeah, I do. I yeah. Do. And it it is like a testimony for me that a girl who couldn't sit in a classroom filled with thirty people now going and playing in stadiums full of eighty four thousand wow. people. That's just a miracle. And that's <laughs> like when people ask me, I'm like. You try it yourself. If God is real, ask Him to be real to you. When did you know, though? Come, K. Ye to thik hai. Hasi masak me khelne. Then you start playing hockey. Yeah. So then I'm guessing you're doing a lot of extracurricular in school also because yeah. playing the guitar. So I'm sure you were on stage singing. Ye yeah. sab. So us sab me kab decide kya ke life direction is cricket. Hmm. It happened to me when I played my first Mumbai under 19 game. Okay. So before that, it was always I loved cricket, but I didn't like missing out the other fun stuff. Yeah. So it was always because of my dad I used to go to the ground. So obviously, dad, I can't tell him anything, no. Yeah. So it was because of that. But when I played my first game, I think in the first game I scored some 28 not out. We are chasing 60 against Gujarat. Second game, I got 81 not out. Like I played some 120 balls. Wow. And in that 81, I just hit one four. Rest all singles bagi me. Wow. So yeah. So after that that game, I was like, okay, this is something I enjoy, something I love doing. And if I want to play, I just don't want to play. I want to be the best. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ina baat. Yeah. Shero wali. So after that, dad never had to force me. And hockey? Hockey and cricket happen simultaneously. So in fact, I got selected for hockey for Maharashtra before playing cricket for Mumbai. And I was really good at hockey too. Like both cricket and hockey, very good. So the selectors used to come and say, "Ha, she's going to make it big for India." Dad is over there thinking, "What are you going to do? Hockey, cricket, hockey?" I say he was very chill. Yeah. As long as I play the sport and I'm serious towards it, he's fine. Yeah. So uh, after that, it came to a point where cricket and hockey both were clashing. So then I had to. My dad made me sit down. Eleven year old girl, okay, making her life decision. <laughs> sit down. Dad is. Dad is also very smart. Huh? Like. Your decision, whatever it is, we will support you. <laughs> One tear so is falling. <laughs> like what to do? I love both because I love both the sports. But then, since I had reached a higher level in cricket than hockey at that moment, I played West Zone for, uh, in cricket. So I like, okay, I think we'll go ahead with cricket and let's see what happens. But mm. till now, the dream is still to play hockey and cricket for the country. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still, still the is, dream. Huh? I don't know if it'll happen or no. But but yeah, and uh, Commonwealth. Yeah. I always thought, you know, I'll play the Olympics or the Commonwealth hockey. Me, but God, that's so funny. In cricket, me, I went and played Commonwealth. We got a silver medal. So yeah. yeah, that's special as well. That was very special. I mean, I know for you it's very far, <laughs> but you will just be amazing on television. I have done commentary uh, during the hundred with oh, Nasir, really? so Nasir Hussain and. Tell me something. Hockey. Did weren't you on when Nasir came to Mumbai to shoot his documentary? Yeah, yeah. You were featured in that, weren't you? I was, I was. And that time I was, I think, fourteen or fifteen. Wow. Yeah. And then you're sitting next to him and commentating. Oh okay, yeah, I got like goosebumps. Now. Yeah. I'm sure for you also must have been it surreal, no? It was though. crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. You just sit back and look back at how your life has gone about, and then you're just like amazed, like okay, wow, where has God brought me from? How it started from this small kid in Bhandup, people calling her Dami Ma. <laughs> To being here, like. Absolutely, और हम लोग को देखो मंडे मॉर्निंग पे हम लोग इधर बैठ के फ्री का खाना खा रहे फ्री का है ना भैया आप ही प्रोड्यूस कर रहे हो यार आएगा बिल आएगा और मंगाओ भैया करा एक एक हर चीज पे इनकी गाड़ी में डाल दो तो यू हैव टू थैंक मी फॉर नॉट सर्विंग यू सांबा भिल But Smriti had said that I should serve it to you. Yeah. But I didn't. So, but thank you so If much. Smriti has said I'll be very careful to eat it. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that this could be a long game of Tom and Jerry <laughs> happening on Breakfast with yeah, Champions. Yeah, no. Yeah, this Once could be. Once you should get both of us together. You will not have to speak. Buddha, na. So. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, sorry, sorry. No, you're sorry. bringing the pack.
मैं निकला अपने अगले चैंपियन को ढूंढने इन माई स्कोडा स्लाविया इंडिया सेफेस्ट फैमिली सिडान ओके टेस्ट ड्राइव